Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. We are, thank you very much, we are exactly one week, one week from the possible election of Alabama Senate candidate and depressing sequel to Toy Story, Roy Moore. <laughs> He's been, a, you do not want him to play Woody. He has been <laughs> accused, it's a character name, has been accused by at least nine women of sexual misconduct while they were teenagers, but the president is standing by his man for a simple reason. We don't want to have a liberal Democrat in Alabama, believe me. We want strong borders. We want uh, stopping crime. Yes, we want stopping crime. <laughs> we just not want stopping sexual assault. <laughs> More. Thank you. Thank you. They're on your side, Mr. President. They're on your side. Please come on the show. Moore is grateful for Trump's support, tweeting, I look forward to fighting alongside the president to MAGA! <laughs> of course, that's the sound teenage girls make when they see Roy Moore at the mall. MAGA! <laughs> MAGA! <laughs> now, Moore has repeatedly denied the allegations. I do not know any of these women, did not date any of these women, and not engaged in any sexual misconduct with anyone. I do not even know what a woman looks like. <laughs> They're ones with the bumpy parts, right? With the niblets on the front. I have no idea how sex works. My parents found me under a cabbage leaf. <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's time to come together as a nation over me. So strong denial right there. Unfortunately for Moore, there's proof that he knows some of them. One woman was so frustrated with his repeated denials that yesterday she shared new evidence of a relationship with Roy Moore when she was 17. Or as Roy Moore called her, a mature honey. <laughs> this woman found a note in her scrapbook signed by Moore that says, Happy graduation, Debbie. I wanted to give you this card myself. I know that you'll be a success in anything you do unless that thing is accusing me of writing you this card. <laughs> and this woman says she knows that Moore was 34 and she was 17 when they dated because she saw photos of herself in the yearbook and thought, that's the age I was when I dated Roy Moore because my braces were off. <laughs> That's right. No, that's right. It's very important. Roy Moore would never date someone young enough to wear braces. He's more of a retainer man. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Leave the headgear on. Oh. Leave the headgear on. <laughs> but the campaign is moving full steam ahead, and this morning, Roy Moore spokesman Janet Porter had an interesting defense of the candidate. Poppy, we need to make it clear that there's a group of non-accusers that have not accused the judge of any sexual misconduct or anything illegal. Yes, let's be fair. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's just nine women. What about all the women who haven't accused him of sexual assaults? Wow. I mean, everybody. Yeah, come on. Yes. Yeah, yes. All of those women. Yes. Yeah. Everyone. Remember, let's not make the same mistake. Everyone was so quick to call Jeffrey Dahmer a serial killer and a cannibal, but we forget about all the people he didn't eat. Come on. <laughs> And the madness, the madness of defending him does not stop there. Listen to Moore's chief strategist, Dean Young, explain, with a camera rolling, that even if Moore did everything he's accused of, it's not his fault. Dean, are you okay with, if he did this, that, that it's, it was okay for a man in his 30s to be dating teenagers? Now, what I'm okay with is that Judge Moore made it perfectly clear. If he did date a teenager, he didn't know about it. So I've, I can't tell you how many times I've been on a date and then ask a girl how old she was, especially after I asked her mama if I could date them. Oh, whoa. I'm from South Carolina, and that is why our state motto is, hey, we're not Alabama. <laughs> There's limits. <laughs> what? What does he mean? Roy Moore didn't know about it when he dated teenagers. Here's a hint. If you ask to ask her mama if she can come out and play, she's too young. <laughs> but not every Republican is throwing their support behind Moore. GOP Senator Jeff Flake just tweeted out a photo of a check 
for $100 to Roy Moore's opponent, Doug Jones, with a memo line that reads, country over party. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that. Someone still uses checks. <laughs> Remind me not to get behind Jeff Flake at the grocery store. <laughs> Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.